Hello guys, so today I have on my repair the Sony Vaio SVE17 uh, So on the picture you can see how it should look like But my uh, laptop is doesn't work, it doesn't on, doesn't turn on, doesn't charging, so it's just dead uh, This is pretty good laptop, you can see it's on my table so I bought it for 60 euro. No, I bought it for 40 euro on eBay. So it has a screen in good condition, plastic case in good condition. So let's try to charge it and let's see what it will do. So you can see no consume, no consumption of energy. So it just dead. No lights nothing so what should we do is just i think disassemble it and let's see uh, what it has inside so first we should take off the battery it's working battery so then let's see if we can take off the plastic tab It doesn't have the hard disk, but has the RAM uh, capacity is 4 gigs. I think if I can repair it, so I will install 8 gig. So it's good laptop. Actually, I used the same model for five years, from 1913 until the 1918. Ah, sorry, <laughs> of course, 2000, yeah, 2013 and 2018. And I like it because it's, it's good. It feels solid, you know, the nice and shiny laptop. So here is the RAM. I hope it is in a working condition, so I will take it off. Yeah, so every RAM has a capacity of 2 gigs so 4 gigs in total let's try to remove all screws so you see the important one is uh, inside uh, under the plastic tab so it's hidden and if you uh, will not remove it you will not be able to take uh, f to take off the cover so now almost the uh, last screw And don't remove this tool until you will take off the keyboard. You should disconnect the keyboard first and then you can remove uh, the last two screws. Because if you will remove all the screws, so you can just break hinges. So I remove it. So also you should uh, disconnect the flex cable and the power cable to be able to uh, disconnect the motherboard if you will not do this you will rip off the flex cables so now let's turn it and let's remove the two last screws so the one I already removed it and the plastic tape you can remove it pretty easily it's not a complicated task to do so i use the plastic tool you can see on my video so it's pretty comfortable thing so i'm using it almost every day i have a three types of this instrument so here we have the motherboard itself at first glance it is in a good condition more or less but let's see further so the previous uh, measurements almost all good so you should uh, so actually i'm measuring the main power lines on laptop i mean i'm measuring resistance of this power lines so as I see all good but 
the laptop still doesn't charge and doesn't turn off it won't turn 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 on so i think something i can find on another side of this motherboard so i will remove it also also you should uh, remove the screws there are i think four or five of them and of course you should disconnect the flex cables be careful because they're pretty gentle so uh, there is always a possibility you can rip it off so and the cooler has another screw so you should remove the screw before uh, disconnecting the motherboard also let's remove the battery the bias battery i mean and also i need the power cable so i will took off the screws from the hinges of, of laptop then I will rise it up and remove the power cable to be able uh, to check the motherboard if it works or not after the repairs so let's remove the screws Okay, the Wi-Fi module. Another two screws. And the motherboard itself. So the, it has a power cable connected. I forgot to disconnect it, but no problem. So for now I will check the general condition of motherboard as I can see it has some problems. So let's put it under the microscope and yes you see yeah the liquid some liquid rests of liquid. So I will measure the main power lines again and then I will clean up the motherboard because I think the problem is with this liquid I don't know what is it I think this is a coca-cola you know yeah the coca-cola Christmas is coming <laughs> I'm joking but the coca-cola is one of the worst uh, liquids because it acid it, it includes acid and also badly washed off with water so I'm using the alcohol isopropylic alcohol and sometimes also I'm cleaning it with distillated water of course then I use something to remove the water from the motherboard so you see that so how it looks like on the motherboard don't drink coca-cola guys when you're working with your laptop so some parts some important parts of the motherboard are in a good condition and i will explore it more so we have more so the rest of this liquid i hope the Isopropylic alcohol will clean all the rest of this stupid liquid. You see, it's dirty. So let's use another tool. Here I don't don't see the problems. The memory card slot is in good condition. Another also audio connectors also are in good condition so the BIOS chip doesn't have a problems but you see also the traces of this liquid so it's almost everywhere but a little bit of it so I'm a lucky I, I hope I'm a lucky one so I hope it didn't 
so let's clean it up more. You should be you should pay a lot of attention because if something you will pass, you will overlook, so you will have a problem in the future. So for example, it could be the traces of liquid on multi-control, the small drop will be enough. So let's see, here is another side of the board, because I think if there is a traces of liquid from one side, so you can see it in other side, but not. So uh, what I'm doing now, I'm measuring the main power lay, uh, line, it's 19 volts, so the MOSFETs are good, but the resistance from uh, the side of second MOSFET is very low, it's like a 13 ohms, it should be a mega ohms or kilo ohms, the hundreds of kilo ohms, but it's only 13 ohms, so here I will put the current, the 5 volts and maximum 1 ampere, I don't want to harm the motherboard, so we, s we can see this shortage, I'm using my Chinese phone with infrared camera and you see yeah, the 76, 78 degrees yeah, almost immediately when I put the current on this line. And this is a capacitor guys, this is a capacitor C4906, I remember that my first, my very first laptop of Sunny Wire had the same problem with the same capacitors, but I think it took more than five hours for me to find the problem then, but now I found the problem in 20 minutes, so this is experience guys. So you see I'm using also alcohol to check the capacitor and it was evaporated and now I will remove this capacitor and I will replace it. Luckily I have the donor board the same, the same model, so I have another capacitor. Uh, you can just remove it, yeah, and it, it, it shorted, shorted to the ground. So this is a donor motherboard and I will uh, take the uh, capacitor, the same capacitor of the same capacity from this motherboard. So you see the small one on my working table, the small capacitor, and uh, this is a working one, so I check it, and yeah, let's remove this one, it doesn't work, it's shorted, goodbye, and let's put it on the place, the working one. You can even you don't need to replace it, not not every time, but I prefer to do it, yeah, all good. So the main power line is in a good condition. Let's check if it will turn on, turns on. So we should install all the flex cable, connect all the flex cables, all the cables on its places on the replaces. I also check at the processor and it is in a good condition so the resistance of its power line is good so I hope not a problem. I like these laptops because you can replace the processor without any problem because it has a dedicated slot for the processor and you can just remove it if it will be shorted. So I installed almost all its elements including RAM memory, so let's back the Wi-Fi module and let's hope it will work, I mean the whole laptop will turn on. I'm confident in it will, it will work because I can't uh, see any another problems, so I think all good with this motherboard. Maybe it has some problems with BIOS chip, but I don't think so. I think the problem was the liquid, 
and then it shorted the main power line and uh, the capacitor gone so I think this is a reason so I repeat don't drink the coca-cola guys <laughs> when you are working with your laptop if you're programmer or editor or anyone else so just don't use uh, liquids or be very careful because you can harm your laptop so I think all good I will connect the last flex cable and then open it and let's try yeah so be careful not to break the hinges because you know this is a plastic and yeah I will turn off the lights so you will be able to see the screen and the moment of trust so push the button and yes so the laptop works perfect so the problem is just a small capacitor almost as usual so i think the 60 70 persons of full faults are connected with laptops and this is how the laptop looks now so i'm installing windows 10 and that's all guys thank you for watching and see you in my new videos i hope it was useful for you and of course Goodbye. please subscribe to my channel so you can see the next useful videos thank you